If you look at Tinkerbell, the ballet shoes are perfect because everything I did was a ballet dancer. Even when she got upset, it was like a ballet dancer would do it. With it, everything, all my walk is like a ballet dancer. And that's what makes Tinkerbell stand out from all the other characters. So they filmed us, and that's what they were doing then. They wouldn't do that today. And then Mark Davis, the great man who designs Tinkerbell. And you can, all of the things that she has done and been to people, it's because of Mark Davis. And just and the sweetest man that you ever met. Just a dear. And so the idea was they, they would sketch out what they wanted me to do. They would bring in props and tell me that I was doing this and I was doing that, whatever it was. And I would step out, and the first time that I ever stepped out in front of the camera, I said to him, um, Mr. Davis, that's how long ago it was, you, you call people Mr. and Mrs. Anyway, I, he said, what? I said, what do you want Tinkerbell to be? Do you want her to be ditzy like Betty Boop? Or do you want her to be a know-it-all, like queen of the, of the fairies? He said, Margaret, we want her to be you. And I said, golly gee, I think I can do that. So I stepped out and he gave me carte blanche to be Tinkerbell and he liked what he saw. So we would work it out, we would, uh, we would rehearse it once, see I hit the marks where we were supposed to go. And then he would say, well, we're ready, everybody else ready, there's a big crew there, of about 12, I guess, and uh, It'd start in the very beginning and they'd say, roll it and away. And I didn't have to match any voice because she, Tinkerbell did not talk in that movie. It was, everything was Panama. You know how she felt about things. My idea with Tinkerbell was that she was about nine years old. And as you could see, it changed a little bit as we went through the movie. She got looking a little older than that. But her movements are like a child who wants her way. You know, uh, she thinks that's the best way to go. So that's why I thought of her uh, all the way through. When I did the scene of looking at the mirror, it told me what it was supposed to be. I felt that she had never seen a mirror before. Why would there be a mirror in Neverland? So it was all, oh, is that what I look like? It was not, oh, how gorgeous I am. It was, Surprise, oh, oh, that, wait a minute. Measuring the hips, hmm, like a nine-year-old, hmm. and walking off. I had the two pair of ballet shoes. I had black ones and I had pink ones. I wore the pink ones for about a week and then I switched over to the black ones. And unfortunately uh, for us, uh, the photographer that they sent over to take pictures of me that day of what was happening on the shoot, I wore my black ones, but I didn't wear them half as much as I wore the little pink ones. And when I put them away, I think right after that, uh, I was moving. So I took these little ballet shoes and I stuffed them down with the shoes that I was moving with. And I think that they sat there for 70 years. I'm 94 years old. I meet people, I entertain them, I tell them stories of what, it makes me so happy, it makes me alive. And all I can say, it's, it gives me faith and trust and a whole bunch of pixie dust.